Good morning. I'll be uh, talking about plastic analysis today. First, let's begin with the topic. Brief explanation about plastic analysis. What is plastic analysis? Plastic analysis is a behavior about the elastic limit. Elastic limit is uh, is through which plastic analysis is done. Uh, plastic deformation or the collapse rule. Plastic analysis is done like this. The utility of the uh, structure is made throughout. Safe load uh, or the load factor is considered over here. For here, the safe load is the maximum load that uh, structure can uh, occupy. It's a uh, uh, totally designed based on the collapse load uh, and uh, limits design. Now, if we consider plastic design is usually uh, used for steel structures. As in steel structures, the elastic steel stress distribution is angular and the steel is wasted. You may know that uh, steel is more costly compared to concrete and other things. So, hence we have to use it uh, uh, fully up to its capacity. Now, let's see the difference between plastic analysis and uh, elastic analysis. In plastic analysis, the uh, metal is in elastic state. Performance of the structure is under service loads and deformation increases with increase of loading. Whereas you can see in plastic analysis, metal is in plastic state. Okay. Uh, performance is structure under ultimate or collapse load. Deformation or curvature increases without an increase in load. The ratio of MP or MPY by MY. Now, MP is the plastic moment and MY is the yield moment. It is a property of the cross section shape and is independent of the material properties. This is known as the shape factor and is given by MP by MB, which is equal to ZB, EZP by EZE. Where EZP and EZE are the uh, lever arms. We know that MP and MY, uh, MP is equal to EZP into force. Since the stresses are the same over here, we will just uh, equate between the uh, um, uh, equate between the lever arms. For wide flange I section in flexural above the strong axis is that the shape factor uh, ranges from 1.09 to about 1.18 with average value being about 1.14. We may notice that as the shape factor uh, increases its uh, strength capacity decreases. One may consistently take the plastic moment strength of I section bent above the strong axis to be at least 15% than the strength, uh, uh, than strength MY when the extreme fiber which is the yield stress FY. On the other hand, the shape factor for I bent about its minor axis uh, as for rectangle, it's 1.5. When material at the center of the section is released, the value of V increases. So, places of yielding where MP's max is known as hinges. This is called upper bond uh, theorem. That is, uh, when the, uh, pla uh, plastic mom uh, when the uh, uh, moment reaches maximum, it forms hinges. This is uh, uh, due to upper bond theorem. The uh, minimum number of hinges is uh, uh, determinacy, degree of indeterminacy plus one. You can see that if in in uh, simply supported mean, it is one. Since the degree of uh, indeterminacy is zero, so degree of indeterminacy plus one is uh, one. In fixed beam, you can see that it's three. Degree of indeterminacy is uh, two, and the uh, plus one. So you get three. In prop cantilever beam, the degree of indeterminacy is uh, 1 and the uh, plus 1, so hence it's 2. So there's two hinges. So we can notice that in simply, sub, uh, simply support beam, the uh, plastic hinge is 1, in fixed beam it's 3, and prop cantilever beam it's 2. So other mechanisms which come under uh, these things are portal frames, fails in two independent mechanisms. The portal frame may fail like invert like having a uh, portal frame uh, hinge in the center of the top beam or it may sway towards its left or it may sway towards its right when a load is applied onto the uh, beam column joint it sways towards and thus we can say that it has uh, four col uh, four uh, uh, plastic hinges we can say that the uh, portal frame fails in th three different mechanisms. The first one being beam collapse. In this beam collapse, the collapse is actually on the beam column joint as well as at the center of the joint. So three uh, hinges are formed. In the second failure, it is column failure as uh, shown in this uh, particular figure. But at the column joints, there are uh, plastic hinges formed. And third is beam column combined failure. This uh, is takes uh, 
it happens on both side but it'll be better if you take on three sides and that's the hinges is uh, lesser that is like one two and the third one being on beam central part so it'll be three hinges over here the we use uh, for design purposes we calculate the highest uh, plastic moment and for uh, taking on a uh, section we calculate the highest uh, load capacity uh, now we'll be uh, seeing the virtual work method in virtual work method the work performed by the external load is equal to the internal load for simple beam the virtual uh, moment is a uh, plastic moment is w l by 4 and we can uh, e uh, equating we get uh, load ultimate load as 4 mp by l for fixed beam with udl the central uh, moment is w l square by 24 and the end uh, is w l square by 12 you can see that uh, at the ends the moment is more com mm, compared to the uh, moments at the center hence the w, uh, w value will be uh, mp into 12 by l square so let us see other uh, theoretic parts in photo frame uh, in plastic analysis plastic analysis is a method of designing a steel structure having a ductile material in plastic analysis the stress developed in steel structure is yield stress that is fy uh, it is mostly 250 which is a common general steel we will be using the stress diagram is always rectangular uh, as always rectangular as compared to elastic uh, member that is the sine plus or minus that is compression tension is at equal a axis and not at the cg for this theory it is most economical approach to design as 100 percent of the materials used assumptions let us see the assumptions of plastic analysis the plane section perpendicular to the axis of the member remains plane even after bending eyelids this is uh, as per uh, is456 it's also uh, used for elastic theory but this assumption is also taken for, for uh, plastic eyelids test uh, strain diagram is used where strain hardening is neglected the shear stress and shear strain are neglected the deformed shape in linear not curvature so that the simple geometry can be applied that uh, triangular element or uh, is used that is for uh, as a point uh, it is uh, converted into point load and a triangular B uh, bm is drawn compared to an udl where a semicircular uh, hyperbolic curve is for drawn only equal area axis is used and no cg where total to compressive force is equal to the total uh, tensile force the plastic moments uh, maximum medium developed anywhere in the structure shall not exceed the plastic moment so you can uh, notice that over here it is a simple beam and it is here we can say it follows the elastic theory as we move on it changes to being elastoplastic where the uh, top part changes as a plastic and the uh, point near the cg turns into elastic now as we apply more further more load the whole section turns on to be plastic and thus we can say the whole structure is turned into plastic structure and plastic is are formed and uh, the uh, structure is used up to its whole, uh, full capacity. Let us consider the following uh, example. Over here it is a cantilever, prop cantilever having two point loads and we have to find the plastic moment. As I have told earlier, the plastic uh, moment is the degree of indeterminacy plus 1. So over here, the degree of indeterminacy is 1 and hence the number of hinges will be uh, uh, degree of indeterminacy plus 1 that is 2. Like uh, over here it is considered as 3 hinges because like there will be 2 mechanisms which will be followed. For first mechanism, we will be considered the 50 kN as in uh, our main load. So the plastic hinge will be uh, formed exactly below 50 kN. So here we can uh, using the similar triangles formula we can uh, equate that theta 1.5 theta is equal to 6 theta 1 hence we can say that uh, theta 1 is equal to 1.5 by 6 theta now using uh, uh, internal work is equal to external work done 50 into 1.5 theta plus 75 into 1.5 into theta 1 that is 75 into 1.5 into 1.5 by 6 theta is equal to mp into theta plus mp into theta plus theta 1 that is the theta 1 is again changed into 1.5 by 6 into theta uh, we can uh, say that after calculating we will be getting a value of solving this mechanism we got the value of 
45.83 kN meter. Now let us consider the second value here. Uh, 70 kN is taken as the maximum load. Now we can say that 6 theta is equal to 1.5 theta 1, and we can equate it and we we get, we get the value theta is equal to 1.5 by 6 theta 1. Again we uh, equate internal work done is equal to external work done and solve we get MP is equal to 87.5 kN meter. Since uh, we have to design a plastic moment, we have to take the uh, maximum moment uh, over here. So hence the maximum moment over here is 87.5 kN and hence the section according to 85.7 uh, 5 kN.